yeah, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. How about Shimmy Al Shai? Double honors to Apostle Elves, great man, stone the rule well. Salutations to Akim. Teach your words, sit in truth, and blessings to the elect and the one third Israelites sky worldwide. You are predestined to be saved. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to play this clip because I'm just going to land back off of uh, the video that I just did, you know, about the Israelite woman that got killed, and it's a warning to the Israelite woman. Now, this is um, Julius Milena, all right, and he's a politician in South Africa, and they're Hamites, all right, um, they're, they're Canaanites <clears throat> of the Bible, South Africans, man, okay, uh, totally different race to us, but you do have Israelites scattered in South Africa, especially the Lemba tribe. Now, he's all about restorative justice, etc. And and um, he, 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 you know, he doesn't play. And uh, he has, there was an old apartheid song where it talks about, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, shoot to kill, uh, 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 kill the boar. The boar is the Dutch that went over there in the 1600s, slaughtered the black South Africans, took their land. Now they've got this party, EFF, Jewish Milama. And look on the stage, and this is the song that they're, they're trying to say is, uh, um, you know, it's uh, bad, provocative, etc. But if you see South Africa today, it's, they're living in abject poverty. Nelson Mandela and all that stuff, that was all bullshit, man. <clears throat> you know, the Masons, especially the Cracker Masons, they run South Africa. All right. Now, let's play this clip and listen to their song. And I want you to notice, especially our women, how many South African women are united with their men. All right? thousand of them man shoot to kill kiss the kill the boar which is the dutch kill the farmer all right and let's remember that uh, uh ecclesiastes 3 15 the lord requires what is past okay but look at the women are firmly with the men firmly with the men all right in our camp in our situation are our women firmly with the men you know and our men in this truth, our women are, are the ones on the street that give us the most uh, uh, hassle, man. You know, argue, and it's all about saving the so-called white man, woman and child. That's the sad thing about it, man. It's pathetic. Now, on this uh, talking uh, show, they talk about this uh, stuff. And here's a woman, again, South African woman. All right, a South African woman defending that chant and being united with her men which is unlike what's happening with our women that's why the ones of our women that are in this truth hold tight to this truth man because it's truly a blessing man you know this truth will save you because believe me the majority of our women they're gone they're not united in their struggle man now this is a, a South African woman from the EFF party and she's defending that chant That's right. We are the children of Winnie Madikizela Mandela. We are the children of Chris Honey. So that whole propaganda 
share anointings that were sold to us in 1994 about a rainbow nation <laughs> without restorative justice yes. is not selling with us anymore. The inequalities gaps here in South Africa has grown tremendous since 1994. So there was no justice that was given. We remain landless. We remain with our children dying in pitch toilets. Mm. Uh, so there's no justice here in South Africa. So we're not going to unite here in South Africa until there is justice. And that includes economic justice. We are not going to have this forced marriage that we entered into via this rainbow nation thing that we were sold. Yep. See? And all of that is just propaganda, man. See, look at look, look at that cracker. He's laughing. You see, she's firmly on the side of her men, man. You know. All right, so so they're united in, in, in getting their nation back on track. The women are with the men. All right, now let's contrast that. <laughs> let's contrast that to our women, man. Our women are completely out of their mind, man. All right, and I saw this video and it's quite telling. Now, first of all, let's get scripture, man, because... Uh, the the bible says that our women will be our enemies in these last days and unfortunately many of them are okay we ain't this truth if you ain't agreeing with yabba shimyah shai the prophecies what's going to happen to the devil all right this this slave master that you love so much you are enemy all right to yabba shimyah shai enemy to us enemy to your own people enemy to yourself micah 7 and 10 and she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her. And that, and you're going to see what? You're going to see us being raised up, man. All right? We're going to be raised up, man. The meek shall inherit the earth. And shame is going to cover you. The ones of you women that are, 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 are not in this truth. The ones of you that don't believe, man. The ones of you that love your master. Which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down. As a mire in the streets. And is that not happening? Did I not show you that in the last video? With that black woman getting blown away. Now let's see. An example of. Our women are completely bugged out of their mind. Who love their master man. Dialpad has completely you know? transformed how we support customers. And it's, it's sickening man. Word in the hood is that Trump. It's sickening man. I mean, look to me, I know everything that he's done for the black community. I... I mean, this is a, a woman talking about her love for Donald Trump. But this is madness, man. And All right. It, I saw that Trump also is a huge supporter. He donated recently $35 million to support uh, uh, human traffic survivors. Yep. That really um, struck a chord with my heart. And so Amazing. when I started really looking into him, I started, I'm black about food. action. I'm not about words. Okay. I like the fact that he says what's on his mind. I like the fact that he doesn't say what he thinks people want to hear from him. And to me, I know everything that he's done for the black community. And I stand behind him. Oh, my God. I'm like not only a Trump supporter, I am a Trump lover. And for the longest time, I've been afraid to come out and say that. Well, I, here we go. Because I didn't want to lose my blackness or my black. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. You're lost, man. You're completely lost, man. All right. She that is my enemy shall see it. And shame shall cover her. She should be ashamed of that. And she and she looked ashamed. She said that. I didn't want to come out because I didn't want to lose my blackness. Well, well you know what? You are black. Black means void of light, man. That's another example. And that's on this channel. The Black Conservative Perspective. It's just another coconut channel, man. <laughs> it's just another coconut for you coconuts. You know? 
Now let's see some of our women that have woken up because Halle Berry went out with a, a, a cracker guy, had a child with her, and uh, in divorce court she said that in heated arguments he called her the N the uh, uh, the N word, and that's what they think about you, man. All right, let's see some examples of this, and that's why they're the enemy, man. And and believe me, the kind of judgments that are gonna come on to you women is 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 in these last days. The Lord is terrible, man. You know, look at slavery. You suffered the worst, yet you still in love with those people, and they've never said sorry. They're never gonna say sorry. You know, you know, they don't care. They are irritated at when you march and protest for any of your people. They're just irritated at that. You know. Now let's see, uh, because remember, in the Bible, who was the one that was deceived? It was the woman, man. All right. It was the woman that was uh, 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 deceived, man. You know? Okay? And that's the problem. And the reason why is because the Lord didn't give you women wisdom, man. All right? It's not wisdom to start um, going out with your oppressor. It's madness. <laughs> it's called Stockholm Syndrome. Job 39 and 17. Because God has deprived her of wisdom. All right. Neither have he implied unto her understanding. So the Lord is not giving you Israelite women. And we're, we're concentrating on Benjamin, Levi, and Judah women today. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go into the same with the Northern Kingdom as well. I'm going to do that because they got the same problem now. All right. Now, this is quite telling. These are uh, testimonials from Israelite women who have been out with the cracker, the devil. <laughs> see how they treat him. Outside of my race, plenty, okay? A lot of y'all like what you see when you date a black woman. Yep. You, you love the beauty of black women, which I can't blame you. You love the aesthetic. You mm. love how different we are. You love our bodies. Yep. But the problem is a lot of y'all don't even like black people. Yep. Yeah, let's talk about it. Bro, where are my black women at that have dated white men? Because y'all know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. The black women who have literally experienced being called the N-word by the white man that they're dating. <laughs> let's talk about <laughs> white men that have literally had children by black women. But can't stand black people. There you go. Why do y'all do that? It honestly, it's it. I'm discombobulated because make it make sense. Let, hold up. Let me do some math real quick. Yeah, it's not adding up because how you gonna date somebody and then just pretend the whole time like you really mess with them. And fuck with them, and the whole time you waste as hell. Can't stand me. That's right, and that's prophecy. All right, they don't like you. They still hate you, man. All right, they still hate you. That's that's prophecy. So that's why the women are in this truth. All right, you are in a a, a very good position because the the Lord is giving you understanding of the scriptures and to understand to avoid them, man. All right, and there's plenty of guys, um, you know, in the camp that have gone out with either my women as well, this, that, and the other. Even have children with them, and they and they know that the the you know, even though their baby mother or whatever is a cracker woman, they you know their family's racist. Over here in England, when they had the George Floyd Black Lives Matter protests, um, there was a program where it showed a uh, Israelite woman who had a white mother, black dad. So she's an Israelite, numbers 1 at 18, while your father is. And she said on her Facebook page, she put some um, Black Lives Matter protests. We're going to go down down to Trafalgar Square. And she said her white family came on and started ra uh, 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 racially abusing her on Facebook. Her own family, man. All right. And it's because of what? Because of the prophecy, Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Perpetual means everlasting. 
and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in a time where we have gone off and away from these commandments, and that's why the Lord is allowing our enemies to rule over us, in a time their iniquity, sin upon sin, had an end. So perpetual hatred. So she's spot on, man. And there's many of them. There's many. There's 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 more of them, man. There's one from the UK. This one is good. This one is good, man. What she says is totally on point. And most of all, it matches up with the scriptures. You know. So at the end of the day, understand that the ones that you the one the ones that you don't want to keep going on and having this coon slave mentality. Especially when you're born and raised in the UK, or born and raised in America, wherever you are, all right. Just know that you're gonna perish with your master, all right. Just know that, man. You are the you are a fetish. That's right. You are a fantasy to them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, you need to go and do research on people like Sarah Bartman. They like the way we moved. They like the way our grandmothers, our great grandmothers, moved during days of slavery. They like the way we did things. We like the way we looked. We like the way that they like the way we smelled. They liked our skin, and then they used to catch us and grape us. The difference now is in 2023 is that you're willingly allowing, allowing them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Nothing's changed, honey. Because if you are your ancestors, mm. so are they. It was and that's beautiful what she said. And you know, because we know that reincarnation is in the Bible, man. Right? All right, reincarnation is in the Bible. So when our women are totally bugged out like this, all right, they are more or less repeating history. They're more or less repeating history, like King Solomon said, man. There's nothing new under the sun. But look at the difference. Look at the difference between the the Hamite woman, all right, who was uh, from South Africa, and all those people. A hundred thousand people out in that stadium, man, all singing. About uh, getting whitey, man. Shoot to kill, kill the boar, kill the farmer. And we and we have to be honest. There has been killings of white farmers, but they're over exaggerating it, like it's some mad genocide or whatever. And those farmers are brutal to them black South Africans, man. The way they treat them, flowers, all right, flowers and um, wine, wine especially is made in South Africa. The way they treat them is so bad. It's unbelievable. They have to work like from 6 in the morning to 8 in the evening. They've got this special kindergarten that they put their kids in. You know, if they're late, they deduct their wages. They're treated like slaves, man, in their own country. You know? And these uh, companies are owned by crackers. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that hath been is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done and there's no new thing under the sun because reincarnation so what she said all right and i've got a video on now if i try and find the video i'll put it a link in the description box because we've done videos on reincarnation what she said was true that's why things don't really change because those wicked people that were lynching us and burning us and hanging us and raping you know our, our you know our women they're back on the earth today so that's that perpetual hatred Okay, so you're just a fetish to them, eh? Okay, that's all it is. Okay, and at the end of the day, look at the difference between the the Hamite woman who was from South Africa, that light skinned woman, because you have people in South Africa called coloreds. All right, people who are so called uh, mixed race, and they tend to stay with their own people. So you know, uh, uh, someone who's fair skinned like her. She probably had a fair skin dad or mum. So she's she knows who she is or whatever. And she's 100% with her man. You know? But it's, it's, it's the serpent beguiling Eve all over again. All right? Ecclesiasticus in Apographer 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children. Can't have joy of the children because this devil's killing them. On, on top of, like he killed that woman who who was pregnant. She was pregnant, man. So he killed two lives. Really, it was a judgment of the Lord, because the Lord kills, makes alive, wounds and heals. 
But at the end of the day, the Lord used his sword. Alright, and who is his sword? Alright, the wicked. Alright, Psalm 17 and 13. Alright, a man that have joy of his children. And he that liveth shall uh, to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what the problem with our women, a lot of them, they don't want to see the fall of his enemy. But as you see in those clips, things are changing, man. Alright, and thank God they are, man. You know, and uh, there's more examples, there's, there's lots of examples here. There's just so many of them. Uh, I'll just leave it if at this one, and then and we'll give it to a close, man. Huh? All right, so make your choice, man. Huh? like data outside race, and you know, just see what's out there. And while I think that's all fine and dandy, and you should find love wherever love finds you. You need to be careful about the interracial thing then. Because anti-blackness is prevalent in every single front corner in this world. That's so right. It That's just right. is. That's right. And those who travel enough will pick up on it. That's right. These are the same idiots who will be like, well, how can he be racist when he's dating me? Look at how they're talk. Look at how your partner, your non-black partner, is talking about other black people. Pay attention to that, because right. you might just end up being the next token Negro. And those same non-black people who are anti-black as get to play the well. How can I be racist when my girlfriend, my partner, my best friend is black? Because mm. you guys let that fuck it slide and you hold us back. It's pick me ism in dating. And it's pathetic behavior, and I'm sorry. I do have a tough time empathizing with some of y'all. That's right. Now, if somebody says something racist and fell to you the first time, and it jumps out, shame on the other other person. But if you continuously let somebody say racist shit to you, and you procreate with them, <laughs> you deserve it. That's right. I really can't sympathize with you guys. Same people want to get on this internet and cry about, oh, like, my boyfriend, he was going in and you in it. Like, <laughs> <do> you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's enough. You see, they're looking at you as a joke, man. You know why? Because you're deprived of wisdom, man. All right, all right. And when and 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 just like the serpent in the garden, and the serpent was a man, man. And that same spirit that was in that serpent is 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 in these devils today. All right. And that's why a lot of our people, you're going to be put to death in these last days. But the fact is that the Lord is waking up that small remnant. All right. And that's all we care about. We don't care about the rest of you, man. The rest of you can can and go and support Donald Trump. You know, like he likes you. I mean, it's incredible, man. Ecclesiastes 25 verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. And through her, we all die. And believe me, man. That's true, because when the woman is out of whack, everything else is out of whack, you know. And we're not saying that our, our, our men are, are, are innocent in all this, but at the end of the day, the Lord told you in the scriptures, all right, not to be doing this, man, not to give your daughters and sons all. See, that shows you that our people are of this world, all right. Deuteronomy 7 and 3, neither thou shalt make marriages with them. All right, marriage is with them, and sex is marriage according to the scriptures. All right, okay. Thy daughter, <laughs> thy daughter, thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter thou shalt not take unto thy son. And that's why, my, uh, as I said, I've said this many times, my aunt who died in the pandemic, the Lord put her to death because she had three sons, one died, but one of them. Uh, went off with an Edomite woman and she had no problem with it but if he came home and said listen I'm going out with this woman her name's Gloria she's from Jamaica or Antigua or whatever she'd have a problem with it you know because of that hatred that they have West Africa West Indians and all that and it's mainly from the West African side man all right the Israelites that are from West Africa that that look down on your own people well it tells you in the Bible, hating your brother without cause, all right, you are, you, you know, you are in line for judgment, man, all right, 
so it's good to see that some of our women are waking up but look at the difference between the other nations how they stick together with their men and women and they go to bat for them compared with us you know i'm just gonna leave it at that man all right pray you're edified i put the links in the description box you all praise the abba shimmy al shai double honesty apostle else great notes on the rule well Salutations to the Ark and teaching the word is here in truth and blessings to the elect and the one third of Israelites scattered worldwide who are predestined to be saved. Stay strong, stay in the Lord, shall